Warm greetings. Today is Monday, October 28, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia, and in this video, I'll be providing an update on the potential development of two low-pressure systems, one to the east of Nicaragua and another to the northeast of the Caribbean. There is a possibility for development in both areas, especially in the central and southwestern Caribbean Sea, where a tropical storm could form by the weekend or early next week. However, more concerning than the potential development of a tropical cyclone are the anticipated rainfall accumulations over the next seven days, which are expected to impact much of the Greater Antilles, the Northern Lesser Antilles, Central America, and parts of the Yucatan Peninsula. Toward the end of this video, I'll provide specific details on the expected rainfall amounts for various regions, including Central American countries, the Yucatan Peninsula, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and some of the Lesser Antilles Islands. Over the past few days, we've been observing various atmospheric disturbances that will interact over the Caribbean Sea toward the end of this week and the beginning of the next. First, a frontal system will be slowly moving southeast, increasing humidity and instability across the northeastern Caribbean. There is also expected to be a trough formation that could lead to the development of a low-pressure system over or near the northeastern Caribbean, which may find conditions favorable for cyclonic development this weekend. Additionally, a broad circulation is expected to form over Central America and the southwestern Caribbean, and in this area, a low-pressure system is forecast just north of Panama, moving erratically across the Caribbean Sea. There remains considerable uncertainty about its potential long-term trajectory. Adding to the complexity, a tropical wave will enter the Caribbean Sea, interacting with this area of disturbed weather. At least regarding cyclonic development, the National Hurricane Center currently indicates a 40% chance of cyclonic development south of Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic over the next seven days. However, they have not yet marked the area northeast of the Caribbean, though there is a possibility for a low-pressure system to develop there with cyclonic potential. This complex interaction of various atmospheric phenomena can be analyzed through global model projections. Let's start with the American model, which by Friday night develops a low-pressure system north of Colombia and Venezuela, moving northeast to eventually pass near or over eastern Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico between Saturday and Sunday. By early next week, it develops a tropical depression or tropical storm north of the Dominican Republic and northeast of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Unlike projections seen earlier today and in previous days, it now shows a much weaker system rather than the hurricane depicted earlier. Interestingly, the model shows multiple low-pressure systems forming around a broader circulation, resulting in a significant influx of moisture from the Pacific region, which will impact some Central and South American countries, the Dominican Republic, Haiti Puerto Rico, Eastern Cuba, Jamaica, and several Lesser Antilles Islands. The model also projects a strong low-pressure development west of Nicaragua and Costa Rica by early next week, where another tropical cyclone formation cannot be ruled out. Let's also look at the European model projection. It, too, develops a low-pressure system north of Panama and just west of Costa Rica and Nicaragua, and by Friday and Saturday, a low-pressure system forms northeast of Puerto Rico, where cyclonic development is also possible. By early next week, the European model consolidates a stronger low-pressure system just east of Honduras and Nicaragua, moving west-northwest. A significant difference between the European and GFS models is that, while both agree that the Eastern and Central Caribbean will experience heavy rainfall over the next seven days, their projected system intensities and trajectories differ. This trend is also observed in other models, including the UK model, which forecasts a tropical depression south of Jamaica between Sunday and Monday, as well as a potential tropical depression north of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. This large degree of uncertainty and the varying scenarios are evident in the GFS ensemble where most members develop a tropical storm or hurricane south of Jamaica, with trajectories ranging from west-northwest to north, possibly passing near Jamaica, Cuba, or northeast near Haiti, the Dominican Republic, or Puerto Rico. Also, many members develop a tropical cyclone northeast of the Caribbean. In the Western Pacific, west of Nicaragua and Costa Rica, the potential development of another tropical cyclone is projected, indicating that we may be monitoring three areas over the next seven days, all contributing to an extreme rainfall event across the region. In the case of the European Model Ensemble, all members agree that cyclonic development will occur to the east of Nicaragua and south of Jamaica, with a west-northwest trajectory that could eventually threaten parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, or even western Cuba. However, due to significant uncertainty about the exact location where a tropical cyclone might develop, let's focus on a more certain forecast. Very rainy days are expected across Central America and the Caribbean, which could lead to a major event of flooding and landslides, 
Now let's look at Doppler radar projections according to the American model. Starting with Tuesday and Wednesday, we see heavy showers developing over parts of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, northern Lesser Antilles, and across much of western and northern Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras. Rainfall events are expected to begin Tuesday night, extending through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. This prolonged period of intense rainfall could lead to significant flooding issues. Let's review the expected rainfall accumulations across different countries. In southern Central America, areas in Panama and Costa Rica may exceed 200 mm, with some regions receiving over 700 mm over the next seven days. Along the Pacific coast of Colombia and areas between Barranquilla and Cartagena, accumulations could range between 200 to 300 mm over the next week. Moving northwest, Nicaragua, El Salvador, and eastern Honduras may receive between 100 and 150 mm, as will parts of Quintana Roo and Belize. In the Greater Antilles, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are expected to experience extreme rain events, especially over the weekend. The model projects rainfall in the Dominican Republic between 200 to 300 mm, while Puerto Rico could see between 10 to 20 inches 250 mm, of accumulated rain. This also applies to the northern Lesser Antilles and the Virgin Islands, where the American model projects over 250 mm of rain. Further west, areas in Haiti, eastern Cuba, and Jamaica could see 150 to 200 mm. It is clear that all of the Caribbean and Central America should stay highly alert to weather forecasts in the coming days and prepare for an extended and extreme rainfall event. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue creating content to keep you informed in the coming days, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Click the bell icon for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Well, with that, I'll sign off for now. The next video will be recorded tomorrow. See you then.